Hi, Bud. Um, I wanted to ask you about uh, both Sensatella and Shasin. Um, can you start off with Sensatella's night and how, um, how, you, how you assessed his outing? Uh, I thought he threw the ball great. I thought early in the game, outstanding. Uh, you know, look from our vantage point. Now, I'm, I'm a long way away from home plate, but, uh, you know, fastball looked as though it had good command. He was throwing strikes. He was attacking early in the zone. A good slider, uh, mixed in a couple curve balls to disrupt their timing. Uh, got the big double play ball uh, when they loaded the bases after uh, you know, Hendricks got the hit. You know, that was that was huge. Uh, but he kept making pitches all night. A uh, couple hard contacts, but uh, overall, uh, I thought he I thought he threw the ball very well. And then Chassin had a, a good inning and then couldn't find the strike zone. Yeah, you? that was uh, you know, I, you know, I looked at that's an aberration for me. Yeah. Uh, Joe Lee's has been uh, one of our one of our most reliable relievers, as you know. And he's been throwing. He's been throwing a ton of. He's been throwing a ton of strikes. Had the good. Had the good seventh. You know, relatively easy. And then for whatever reason, uh, it looked as though the fastball. You know, had a lot of movement. He couldn't command the fastball, and those breaking balls he he threw, which were very few in the eighth, he just couldn't land. Uh, so, uh, and that was a, that was a tough one for JC. Nobody feels worse than him. He's been you know, a valuable part of our, our pen uh, when we win games. And tonight it didn't happen. Uh, Carlos came in, uh, you know, gave up the first, uh, you know, base hit and got a big double play ball. And then, uh, you know, hung a pitch to, well, actually didn't hang a pitch, missed his location to Hermosillo and, uh, you know, for the double that tied the game. So, uh, you know, really rough inning for two of our, you know, main relievers when we have a lead. And then my last question, um, even though it wasn't the results you wanted, was it encouraging to see the offense come out uh, strong from the start? You know, I mean, you uh, get yeah, jump on them right was, away. No, I, you know, I thought we, you know, we had, you know, the first inning, you know, Connor let off with a, you know, with a, uh, you know, with a double, you know, well struck. Uh, you know, Rogers got jammed, didn't get him over, but Chuck picked him up with a base hit. Uh, Crone had a big night, uh, you know, had the, you know, got the dumped one in there uh, for a base hit. Uh, you know, the big hit obviously was Hilliard uh, there with that, you know, single the other way uh, to get us to three nothing. We got the, you know, we manufactured a run with uh, Ruiz coming off the bench, getting happy to third, then uh, Connor Joe with a sack fly. But uh, we were a little quiet against Hendricks after the first, which, uh, you know, I thought I think it was frustrating for the guys because I, I thought going in, uh, you know, we showed, uh, you know, a pretty good attack plan the first at bats and then the second at bats we sort of got away from it. So that's a little frustrating, but uh, it was encouraging to come out for sure and, and jump on a, you know, the league leader and wins uh, with three in the first. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Patrick? Uh, buddy, what you already met, talked about uh, your lease and uh, Carlos Tevez, what did you see from Daniel in the ninth, uh, particularly on the home run pitch? From where I looked, it looked elevated. But... Yeah, elevated slider, elevated breaking ball. Uh, you know, you know, got back in the count at, uh, with the inside fastball uh, on the three-one count, and then you know hung a hung a slider, and Ortega got it. I mean, just it was an elevated slider. Okay, um, I think I want to ask you everything else. Thank you. Okay. All right, any final questions for buddy tonight? Noah? Hey, buddy. Um, one of the positive things out of the night was uh, Max' defensive play there to end the fifth inning. What did you see on that play where he went out into left? Yeah, that, that was huge. Uh, you know, obviously, Sensatella uh, there in the fifth, uh, you know, the four pitch walk to the eighth place hitter, uh, you know, I thought was. You know, not a great walk. I, you know, I ran him through a little strategy uh, there to, you know, really bear down on him. And it allowed uh, Hendricks to go another inning because he came up in the in the fifth. It allowed him to go uh, the sixth and the seventh. And then he punched the base hit uh, to make it even uh, compounded the, you know, the walk to the eighth place hitter. Uh, and then Mac, you know, Mac's been playing great defense all year long. Uh, you know, whether it's, 
uh, you know, ground balls to his left, ground balls to his right, uh, charging ground balls, you name it. Max been stellar. And that play, uh, you know, a long ranging running play to, to catch a pop up in the, you know, and the thing on that, on that play in, in this park, which, uh, you know, the outfield's pretty tight. I mean, you have to, you probably hear footsteps from Connor Joe, right? Coming in and, you know, the player might be a little hesitant. Uh, you know, it's like going over the middle uh, for a pass in football. Uh, but Mac kept going. That was a hell of a play. It just goes to show you what type of year he's having defensively. And even the hard smash. Uh, against uh, uh, that Chirino hit the catcher that uh, he made with a little drop step and, uh, you know, feel that pretty easily. That was a, that was a nice play too. I don't know if that showed on, uh, you know, from your vantage point, but that was a hell of a play too. So um, two big plays again by Mac. Yeah, that did look like a really good play up here in the press box. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Yep. Okay. Hi, right, Sansa. Um, from back from back here in uh, in Denver, you sure looked like you had some of your sharpest stuff of the season, particularly the slider. Did you feel that way tonight as well? Yeah, for sure. I feel like my my slider was really good tonight. He has been throwing good all night and get out me the jams and everything. The one pitch I thought was really important, and I think it was a slider too. Uh, they had the bases loaded in the sixth, no outs. And you got the double play grounder with David Bodie. Uh, you needed a big pitch there, and you got it. Was that a slider as well? Yeah, it was a slider down. Okay. Down away a slider. How, how how do you know, or how do you how do you realize, Sensa, that your slider's on? Do you feel it pregame, or do you just get a feel for it as the game goes along? I just feel it during the game. After the first inning, I feel like it slides there. Okay. Uh, anything else uh, working particularly well for you tonight, or maybe everything was? I think my fastball is good, and my curveball is working really good. Too. He's, I think the curveball was the best pitch I thrown to be, to get out the jam, because I put myself too on the cam, and I throw a curveball in there, and they just fall it off. And it's right back to a slider to get it out. Excellent. Thank you, sir. appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have any more questions for Antonio tonight? We'll go to Danielle. Hey, Antonio. Um, there in the set, fifth, sixth, when your base is loaded, um, was the goal for you to get a ground ball out and get a double play there? Was that what you were going for there with that pitch? Yeah, we, you know, we go for a strike mile and double play for the next hitter. You know, forget out with no runs, but we just got to like a double play. That's good. I love it. Thank you.